Well, we, uh, we just announced Houdini Indie, a special version of Houdini designed for independent animators and game makers. Um, essentially, it's all the Houdini features, uh, but under a limited commercial license uh, for use by people who are getting started in the business and trying to grow their business into, into, uh, into something bigger. Well, games is something that actually uh, the game, the Houdini game market has been growing over the last few years, with the next generation game consoles and so on. Procedural generation of content is a is a logical idea that that many game companies are starting to pursue. So we have a lot of game customers that we don't talk about as much publicly on our website and so on, but they have been using Houdini. Uh, now that we plug into game engines like uh, we work with game engines like Unity or Unreal. Uh, we're starting to talk a little bit more about it. Well, it's actually also a feature of Houdini Indie, because Houdini Indie will run this, this concept called Houdini Engine. And what, what that is, is that you can take something from Houdini that we call Houdini Digital Assets. That's, Houdini uses nodes to create the flow or the data flow of a scene. And you can wrap these up collapse them into a single node and publish it out as what's called a digital asset. So those assets could be shared amongst different Houdini artists um, and they would use them and then update them and, and, and if you made an update in the one asset it would propagate to everyone else. So it was a great pipeline tool. The problem was that then you'd hit artists using other applications and they wouldn't be able to use these wonderful procedural assets. So the concept of the Houdini engine is that if you're in another app that has a plugin a Houdini Engine plugin, that app can pull in the digital assets and all the Houdini thought process is, is, is happens behind the scenes. So if I'm in Maya, for instance, which is one of the plugins we were, well, the first product plugin released, you could bring in, for instance, a, an asset that does a fluid simulation. You bring it in and when you press play and the fluid simulation starts to work, it goes down, finds Houdini, processes the fluid simulation and sends the results back to the Maya interface. So the, the key is that if you're running any version of Houdini, um, Houdini, Houdini FX, or Houdini Indie, that license will also run the engine inside another app on the same computer. Uh, if you want to run it on a separate computer, we have a Houdini Engine or Houdini Engine Indie licenses that would then allow you to run it on some other computer. So if you're, if you're working with Houdini building assets and you want your neighbor sitting beside you to be able to consume those assets, they don't need a full Houdini license, they just need a, one of these Houdini engine licenses. So, you know, it's, it becomes a real pipeline tool sort of at that point. Well, if you go to sidefx.com slash indie, I-N-D-I-E, uh, that'll give you the lay of the land for how that product works if you're an independent. Um, other than that, you can just go to the same place and you'll see links for Engine and Houdini and Houdini Effects. You'll be able to look at all those as well.